Aldehyde sugars are always aldoses. If there's a ketone, we call them ketoses. Some will form structures in circular rings. Saccharides do some incredible things. Onto a glucose, we add a P to it. ATP energy ought to renew it. Quick rearranging creates F6P without requiring input energy. At a high rate, at a phosphate, with PFK. F16PP is made up this way, so we can run and play. Aldolase breaks it and then it releases DHAP and a few G3 pieces. These both turn into 1,3-BPG, adding electrons onto NAD. Phosphate plus ADP makes ATP, while giving cells what they need energy, making triphosphates a situation of substrate level phosphorylation. 3BPG, 2BPG, lose a water. PEP gets a high energy state just to make pyruvate. So all the glucose gets broken and bent. If there's no oxygen, cells must ferment. Pyruvate, lactate, our cells hit the wall. Some lucky yeast get to make ethanol. This is the end of your glucose's song. Unless you goof up and get it all wrong. Break it, don't make it to yield ATP. You'll save your cells from futility.